Kim. And I'm Keandra. And you are up close and personal with the, the Red Glasses, Glasses Sisters. Sisters. <laughs> <laughs> On today's video or um, interview, we are interviewing Erin, um, the Cisco chick, the lovely Cisco chick. Beautiful. She's a beautiful yes. woman um, or lady. And uh, we had the pleasure of interviewing her. Uh, we asked her to, you know, kind of fancy us and do this interview and she happily did so and we thank her so thank much thank you so much Erin. yeah <laughs> you can uh, check her out we will put her link at the bottom uh showing just that you know you where you can find her on youtube so for the easy access and we thank you guys for watching enjoy this lovely video please. and interview <laughs> and please rate comment and subscribe <laughs> see you in a minute My name is Erin and I am a YouTuber. My YouTube name is The Cisco Chick and um, I'm here to do an interview with the Red Glasses Sisters. You can check them out at theredglassessisters.com. My motivation behind vlogging um, really comes from um, the change that I've saw in myself. Um, when I started really venturing out and trying new things and trying to be adventurous with the stuff that I wore, um, I really noticed like my confidence was so much better. And, um, and I started doing uh, videos because I loved makeup. And then from doing makeup videos, then I started getting, you know, comments from some of my subscribers asking me to do outfit of the day videos. And so I started doing that and I just have this huge huge um, support group of people that subscribe to me and so they are a huge motivator and I just love uh, being able to let girls know like me smaller than me bigger than me that it's okay to take risks and it's okay to care about how you look so um, that is definitely my motivation is I want everyone to feel good about themselves and I know that um, caring about how I dress or how how I look has really, really uh, changed my life a lot. It's really hard to um, narrow it down to one fashion icon. I mean, there are so many, like um, Betty Draper on Mad Men, or um, you know, Kim Kardashian is fabulous, and Rihanna, and um, Beyonce and Amber Rose and all of these women that are just so unique and all in their own way but all just like have impeccable taste and style uh, but the one person that I would say um, that I really really love is Jeannie Mai she's on the Style Network um, she has a show called uh, How Do I Look and she gives kind of people a makeover but it really is kind of a process of changing them and giving them the confidence that they need to look nice and presentable and she shows them what looks good on their bodies and how to stay true to themselves but also to look nice at the same time so I really really I really like her I like her message and if you've seen her before I mean she dresses like ridiculous like it's so good I would wear everything she wears so she's for sure um, on my list. Um, my definition of style definitely comes from within. And so I think that everybody has different style and I may not like every style or, you know, every person and, and the way that they dress, but if they own it, you can tell when someone, you know, owns what they have and they're confident and they, you know, dress how they want and, and still portray that confidence to you. I think that that is so important. So it definitely comes from within yourself and believing in yourself. That's the definition of style for sure. My favorite beauty product is definitely mascara. My eyelashes are blonde. They are like clear. So um, whenever I put on mascara, that just completely transforms my eyes and really my face. So mascara is most important. As far as fashion goes, I would have to say heels. They always take everything up a notch. Um, for sure, uh, heels are a staple for me. I 
I would say that um, the best advice um, that someone, I guess, could give me or something that I've kind of found out um, over the long run has been to not put yourself in a box. And just because something says size large but you're a size 2X doesn't mean it's not going to work on your body. But you have to find the right cut as well. So I think that trying things on, trying new things on, um, and something maybe different that you wouldn't normally do, you can discover so many great things. And um, so that's like really important to me. I shop at Forever 21 um, in my city, but my city doesn't have a plus size section. But I still find things that fit me and that I absolutely love within the straight sizes. So um, I think it's just so important not to put yourself in a box. And even if, say, I'm saying, you know, downsize, but also larger sizes, the size is simply a number. And if it fits your body, it fits your body. So don't get hung up on sizes. I want to thank the Red Glasses Sisters for um, for asking me to do this interview. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and um, and thanks for thinking of me. Please uh, have a great day, and thank you so much again. Bye. We thank you so much, Erin, for this interview. You answered the questions wonderfully. Um, you are so correct when speaking about sizes and um, being basically confident in who you are. Um, me buying a size a size large and someone would say that I can't wear a size large but mm -hmm. I can um, because of my body type it's really about knowing your body type and um, you know being comfortable with that um, so yeah just forget about what society says as long as it's um, it's nice it's classy it's tasteful hey you're working with something and yeah. you keep doing you <laughs> yeah cuz that um Manufacturer or designer, their whole goal really is to sell. sell. Yeah. <laughs> they really don't. Some of them really don't care who it's to, you know. Um, you know, and just like um, Aaron said, if it fits you, you know, you just really have to be one of those people who have to, you know, just try it on. Right. And be willing to try it on and don't get act like it's not even the size isn't even in the garment because I mean, at the end of the day, if it can fit you. I mean, who can argue right. with you? Mm -hmm. um, but I also um, really wanted to touch on the Jeannie Mai uh, portion. Jeannie Mai. I love <laughs> Jeannie Mai. She is fabulous. If any of you have ever played um, It Girl on Facebook, <laughs> I was like, it girl junkie um she reminds me of all things it girl like she is the it girl um the hair the makeup i mean she's she's short and petite. yeah she's like. really short yeah <laughs> just like that i mean her clothes are so high end and so wonderful she's just every girl's dream to be like okay but um yes once, <laughs> once again we thank you so much Erin. you are wonderful <laughs> So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more interviews just like this. If you like them, comment at the bottom. Rate. If you don't like them, <laughs> comment at the bottom. Let subscribe. us subscribe. Comment, rate, subscribe. <laughs> I mean, it's all, all those things are free to do. Right. They only take just a little bit of energy. <laughs> but you're going to use that anyways, right? <laughs> but anyways, like we always like to say, love, peace, and RGS. <laughs> See you later, guys.